Hi, it's Alex Ackerman, and today I'm here to talk to you about the puffy chair. Basically, there is a guy named Josh and his girlfriend Emily, and then his brother Rhett, and they kind of go on a mission to get a puffy chair for Josh and Rhett's father's birthday. Remember the puffy chair when mm -hmm. we were little? Yeah. I found a replica of it on eBay, and I bought it from this dude, and Emily and I are driving in the van to pick it up. So that's basically the A plot, but kind of the underlying tone in the story is Josh and Emily's relationship. And it kind of focuses on how, you know, what do you do when you love someone but you're not in love with them and you can't really progress to marriage, so what, what do you do? And I thought that was really, I mean, a lot of us, I think, arguably can have felt like that or will feel like that at some point in their life. Um, and I think it was a very interesting topic to touch on. First there's Emily, who is Josh's girlfriend, and I think, you know, at first I thought she, maybe she was a little crazy and clingy, but I kind of understand her in a way. It's like she wants more, but she's not getting it, so where do you go? And she really asks the question of, you know, what goes on when you can't get married, and, you know, what goes on from there. There's actually this one point where she asks, Josh, why do you love me? And then Josh replies, Dude, don't. It's too late for that. Uh, uh. That's basically the tone of the, the movie. Um, okay, then there's Josh, and he's very mixed up, and it's kind of ridiculous, this quest they're going on, because it's just, they're so mixed up. And then there's Rhett, who I really love the character, who kind of levels everything out. This van has some badass mojo in it because of the way you went about getting the chair. I really love the handy cam style, kind of. You know, it was very personal. You can tell I'm serious because I'm zoomed in on my face. This is serious. I like the feel of that, so um, it makes me almost feel like I could make a movie, you know, like that style, so it's really awesome. Finally, I'm going to touch on the Q&A, which we had, and that was really, I like the Q&A. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say um, the director, he said that the in sequencing the film, they actually did it in sequence, which is very, I'd say, rare for you to film in sequence of the film, but I thought it was, it kind of went together with the improv style of acting, where people, like, they actually, you know, had their own emotion in it, and I really liked basically the improv and the idea of sequencing in the film. So um, this was great, and I'm looking forward to next week. Bye!